on election day they came in their trickles, defying a steady downpour of rain to cast their ballot. Weeks of political campaigns and discussions, and then to the ballot box in deciding who leads Cote d'Ivoire for the next five years. Well, everything is okay for me. I voted. A government that uh, would make Ivorian happy and uh, that would bring security and peace to the country. It's my first time to vote since uh, I was born. I'm a citizen of Ivorian and uh, I'm very happy to vote. And uh, we, we, not, we notice that uh, the all thing, all, all thing happened good, right? Former President Conan Bédier has arrived early to cast his vote. He took the thunder from the poll when his party decided not to field a candidate in the presidential poll. Coincidentally, he's cast in his ballot in the same polling station as President Ouattara. A rainy day on D-Day in Lycée Saint marie the voting center of presidential candidate and incumbent president, Erash Depe, Alassan Water has just departed here. Of course, the concerns haven't been about the electoral process per se. Everything has been just fine, but of course, it's been voter turnout. This voter turnout in this election day match up with previous elections. Our president is optimistic that this is just the case all across the country. Well, I, I, as I mentioned, we have more people here today than in 2010. So if it's, I take into account what I've seen today, the turnout for sure here will be greater than what we experienced in, both in October and in November. So this is a good sign. Getting more than half of the 6.5 million voters to cast their ballot is a major talking point. Voter apathy isn't a new development, but regional bloc ECOWAS, which has 135 observers, appears optimistic in its initial assessment. I believe that uh, if what we saw in the late afternoon is anything to go by, uh, and if that is a reflection of the countrywide situation, the turnout may not be too bad. The end of voting, critical process in Cote d'Ivoire's democratic evolution. And people are going to be asking questions when you look at those numbers to know exactly if the numbers actually have shown that the divide in this country has been healed. And if that divide has been healed, they'll be looking at those numbers again to tell a different story. The Ivorians have learned the lessons from five years ago to move this country forward in the path of economic development. From the heart of Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire, Aogo Obu, STV News.